This question is an arc length question. Our function is 4x squared plus 3. We're going from 0 to 2. Those are x values. We're just going to use the arc length formula. It's the square root 1 plus the derivative of the function squared. So don't plug in 4x squared plus 3. Take the derivative first. So I did that, and that's just 8x. You see that in the upper right corner. Plug that in to the integral. But we have a problem here. This is not a form that we know about. We have to do a little work. There is an integral for this. I went to integraltable.com right here, and I think it was a 29th formula on that page. It was written in a different order. It was x squared first plus a squared second. So I turned it around and wrote it as 8x squared plus 1. However, this integral formula is for just x squared. What about that stupid 8? So here's where we make a u substitution. u is 8x. Derivative is 8dx. So you have to solve for dx. So multiply both sides by an eighth. Make that u substitution. And now you can see that it is x squared plus a squared. Well, u squared plus a squared. a is 1. So I wrote that down. Then I apply the antiderivative formula. Little bit annoying. Be very careful. This integral formula could be x squared minus a squared, in which case you would use the minus and the minus right here. This problem had plus, so I'm using the pluses, and you're going to see that formula there. I don't include the endpoints until I get back to x's. Then I put the 0 to 2 in. Plug it all in. Be very careful. Remember, natural log of 1 is 0, so that term disappeared on the next line. And I went to Desmos Scientific, plugged it all in, and that's what I got right there. And that is the value the question was looking for.